What's up, Level Up family? How y'all doing today? Hope y'all doing good. I'm doing good. Topic of this video is going to be automatic transmissions versus manual transmissions. But before we can get into this video, I need you guys to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be notified once a new video is updated. All right. Let's get into it. So I've been getting a lot of questions about this. Which one is better? Should I get an automatic truck? Should I get a manual truck? Um, and also another question I got is, should they take that test in an automatic or should they take that test in a manual? But I want to answer all those questions. Me, when I went to school, I went to CDL Book Club here in uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Um, I started off in a 10 speed and I got the feel for the 10 speed. It was OK to do the maneuvers and everything. But then when I heard that if you grind a gear, you fail. If you miss a gear, you fail. If you stall out, you fail. Uh, if you start off in the wrong, in the wrong gear from a, a stop, you fail. So to me, I just felt like that was a little overwhelming. So I told myself, you know what? Let's just go with the automatic and let's take the test in the automatic truck and just get it out the way. Let me just pass the CDL test. Let me just get my CDLs first. And then I'll worry about, you know, taking a test in an automatic. Now, if you do take your test in an automatic truck, there's a good chance that you will have an automatic restriction on your license, which means that all you can drive is an automatic truck. They won't let you jump into a manual. Now, unfortunately, where I went and took my test at, the line was long after I passed my CDL, so I ended up just coming back home. And when I went to the NVA to retrieve my, my CDL license, they asked me, did I have any restriction or did I have any problems with the test? I said, no, everything was good. And I got my CDL and I have no restrictions on it, but I took it in the automatic. Now, it's likely that this can happen for you. You could take the test in the automatic and you won't have that restriction on it. If you do, that's perfect. But if you take that automatic, just look for you having that restriction on there. If you don't want to have the restriction on there, then just go ahead and take your CDL test with a manual truck. But it's, it's really no difference. Uh, it's just a little bit harder with a manual, but it's the same concept. Just a little more steps that you got to take and a little more stuff that you got to watch. Rather than if you're on an automatic, you just wide turns, you know, make sure you're in the right lane, signal, gas and brake. Simple as that. It goes a lot smoother with an automatic. But if you take it, just remember, if you take it in an automatic, nine times out of ten, most likely you're going to have that restriction on your license. Now, let's fast forward. You already passed the test. You're looking to buy your first truck. Um, is it smart to buy a manual? Hey, e either way, you could buy a manual, you can buy automatic. They're both going to give you that opportunity to make money. One, you just may do a little more work. Like with the manual, you have more control over the truck. So if you're loaded, you know, you, you heavy and you running hills, you can keep control of the gears, the speed and everything, how you want to go. Now I will tell you this. If you have an automatic, automatics to most people suck when it comes to running hills and you're loaded. It it will break you down and you just have no control over it. You just have to keep your foot on the gas, you know, and you just have to drive and just wait till you climb that hill. You can't switch gears on your own. You just pretty much just had to let the truck do what it what the truck does best. It's already computerized and factory tuned and set and all that. So you just drive gas and brake. That's it. But if you have a manual, you will be able to climb hills a lot, a lot faster. Um, you just have more control over your speed and switching gears. Some for the automatics, you hit a hill. It may it may just like start downshifting a couple couple gears um 
whether if you're in a stick, you know which gear your truck can run that hill at, no matter how heavy you are. You could drop it right in that gear. You could just coast right up the hill. The the automatics, uh, not so much. It may take a little time, but it's nothing wrong with having an automatic truck. So don't be discouraged and be like, oh, I don't want to buy an automatic truck. You know, it's nothing wrong with the automatic trucks. I hear some people say that the automatic transmissions has more problems than a manual transmission. It's To me, it's still a transmission. It's still a truck. The truck going to break, it's going to break. But the benefit of having an automatic versus a manual is if you're in traffic now if you're in traffic all you gotta do is like a regular car just gas and brake you just go and you know go and stop but if you're in a manual you in bumper to bumper traffic and you gotta scoot up a couple feet you gotta keep catching that first or second gear whatever gear that you you taking off in you have to constantly just keep working your clutch your foot on that clutch and shifting gears so that's just one of the advantages of having an automatic um to me, I wouldn't say one is better than the other because they both going to get the job done. But most likely now, um, automatics are the prices for the automatic trucks is, is ridiculous. It's sky high right now. So you might be better off finding yourself a manual for less money than you will find an automatic because a lot of big companies are turning over to automatics. They're just tired of replacing clutches and stuff and they just... You got new people coming into the game, the industry, and they don't know how to drive manual trucks. You got 10 speeds, you got 13 speeds, you got all the way up to 18 speeds. You got people that don't know how to drive these trucks. And most of them coming out of school, like I did, driving a, a automatic. So that's what they want. So a lot of these companies are just buying up automatics right now. And... Since this is happening, now they're raising the prices of these automatic trucks. So if you're looking for a, a truck right now and you see that these automatic trucks is going for like 70, 80, 90,000, yeah, that's why. That's exactly why, because they know that these trucks are booming right now in the industry and everybody wants an automatic. So if you know how to drive a manual truck and you don't mind shifting gears all day long, it might be best for you to start off and just grab a manual because most likely you will find a manual truck cheaper than you will find an automatic truck. But like I said, I won't, I won't choose either one because at some time I'm looking to buy the second truck and I'm looking for my second truck to be a manual just because of prices, price wise right now. But I'm not going to say either truck is better. It is. It's all going to do the same thing that you want. So if you can drive a manual and you don't mind switching gears, go ahead and run with the manual. But if you don't want to switch gears all day long, then go ahead and just stick with the automatic. Like I said, you, you're not losing either which way. Whatever you choose, you're still going to make money in it. You're still going to make money. You're still going to get, it's still going to get you from point A to point B, and you're not going to have any problems with it. So just keep that in mind. But that's the end of this video. I just wanted to give y'all just a little bit of information between the manuals, transmissions, and the automatic transmissions. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. And if you know anybody that can benefit from the information from this video, please don't hesitate to share it to them. And like I said in the beginning, if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified once a new video is uploaded. And I'll catch y'all at the next video.